this video is to write an equivalent or equal algebraic expression using the distributive property. Consider this expression, 7 in parentheses 10a plus 3b. Write an expression that shows the sum of exactly two terms that is equivalent to 7 in parentheses 10a plus 3b. So there's a couple key vocabulary terms that we need to know in order to answer this question. The first one is, what does the sum mean? Well, sum is the answer to an addition problem, which tells me that in my equivalent expression, I'm going to need to use addition. And we also need to know what is a term. So a term can either be a single number, like three, a variable, like the variable y, or numbers and variables that are multiplied together. So for example, 5x is really 5 times x. So this is a term. Negative 7c is really negative 7 times c, a number and a variable being multiplied together. So this is also a term. So I need to have two terms that I'm adding together. All right, so here we go. When I look at this problem, or this expression, 7 times 10a plus 3b, I can see that it's requiring me to use the distributive property. So remember with the distributive property, you're multiplying the number outside the parentheses times however many terms are inside the parentheses. Because really, this is 10a plus 3b repeated seven times. So it's 10a plus 10a plus 10a plus 10a seven times. 3b, 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 seven times. So we're multiplying this number that's on the outside, in this case seven times both of these terms. So let's simplify this first. I'm gonna write it out. We have seven times 10a plus 3b. If you want, pause the video right now and try this on your own. 7 times 10a, I'm going to use red for this term, plus 7 times 3b, I'm going to use green for the b terms. Remember when you use the distributive property, whatever sign you have in between these two terms is going to stay the same. So now I can simplify this expression. 7 times 10 is going to give me 70a plus 7 times 3 gives me 21b. Remember you can only combine terms if they have the same variable. Since these two terms, 70a and 21b, don't have the same variable, I can't combine them. So this is going to be as simple as I can make this expression. Well, now let's see if this expression gives us what we want from the problem. Write an expression that shows the sum, there's my addition sign, of exactly two terms. Well, here's one term in red, and here's the other term in green, and I have a plus sign, so yay! I'm done. My answer is 70a plus 21 B. If this problem was helpful to you, leave a comment, a like, or subscribe for more math videos.